Hello. My own brain. Gonna have... Time to have a, a normal one. Well, well, look who finally dragged themselves in out of the wasteland. And where have we been, hmm? Crawling through pits of radioactive muck again? I wasn't ready for you to sound that much like Stewie Griffin, but okay. Uh, are, are you my brain? Ah, lovely. Figure that out, have we? Would you like a cookie? Oh, why are you such a dick? Well, that's a fine how do you do. Me, a uh, quote, dick, unquote. As if I'm the one responsible for the way you carry on gadding about the wastes. I'm not the one that makes us clamber around technus infested ancient vaults or go charging off to New Vegas on missions of ill-conceived revenge. And have we forgotten who got us shot in the head and buried in a shallow grave? Hmm? Do you think I enjoyed that little moment? Uh, of course you're responsible. You're my brain. I most certainly am not. I am the seat of all reason and logic in our little partnership. All those feelings that motivate you, that sense of righteousness and that rush you get when you help someone, do you know where those come from? Glands. They come from glands. Free of the tyranny of your ape-like and primitive endocrine system, I can see how foolish your motives are. But you're the source of most of those glands, unless you're arguing that my thyroid is to blame. I... well... look, it's all <laughs> a very complex system of biofeedback and other things I wouldn't expect you to understand. Admit it, you're just as glandular as I am. Oh, all right. Perhaps I am, but at least I'm logical about it. Just want to be smug about yourself. How the hell did Mobius get a hold of my brain? After the think tank extracted me from your skull, they fell to bickering amongst themselves. I'm sad to say we were quite forgotten about. Dr. Mobius saw an opportunity to gain some leverage and had me spirited away to his dome. And how did he manage that? I don't know. I'm afraid the trauma of our separation rendered me quite insensate. I didn't come around until I was safely ensconced in this tank. I'm quite sure whatever he did was highly scientific, though. That seems like a pretty unlikely coincidence. Hardly. Dr. Mobius keeps a close optical sensor on the goings-on at the think tank. As soon as he saw the opportunity, he took it. Well, that answers that. Well, as long as your curiosity is satisfied. Don't you want to be reunited? I thought you'd be happy to get back into my head. I'm not going to lie to you. The prospect is definitely not that appealing. Look at it from my perspective. Here I have peace, quiet, and safety. Well, barring the odd rogue scorpion. In your head, I've got poison, radiation, grisly injuries, and biological functions. Do you know how much more you can get done when you're not constantly looking for places to urinate? There's quite <laughs> a lot, I can tell you. All right, Chase. What about the good things? What about a cool breeze on your cheek? The smell of food? Love? Overrated biological feedback. Believe me, you only feel that way because you've got all that meat oozing hormones. Can't really believe that. I don't believe it. It's just a simple fact. One may as well believe the Earth is round or that the specific gravity of uranium is 18.9. So, what, you'd rather just stay here, never leaving that tank of whatever that stuff is? Well, certainly there might be some things I miss about being ambulatory. We have seen some incredible sights, haven't we? Jason Bright and his followers launching into the vast unknown. Helios One coming back online. But still, 
Given the tremendous, potentially life-ending peril that went along with those... Yes. Yes, I'd rather stay here. If you like being stuck in there so much, maybe I'll just leave you. Oh no! Please, don't leave me here in this nice, safe dome where I have access to nutritive fluids and a fully indexed library. Please don't deprive me of being dragged through a landscape so bleak it was actually improved by the end of the world. I don't know how I could bear it. <laughs> no, you can't send me back. It's it's Nevada in there. You've never you ain't never been to Nevada. Look what happened to the think tank. You want to end up like them after a few hundred years? It's true. The brains here have experienced some degree of deterioration. I'm confident that with a few decades of work, I can solve the problem. You really think you're smarter than the think tank and Dr. Mobius combined? Actually, yes. I do think that. I think that exact thing. All the time. <laughs> Oh, I enjoy my brain. That's a sentence. Why'd you never say anything about how you felt before? What did you think all those self-preservation instincts were, hmm? All those times you thought for a fleeting second, maybe I shouldn't punch that death claw in the face. That was me telling you exactly how I felt before! Come on, let's go. We're getting out of here. Ugh, crawl back in there? Are you mad? I don't know where you've been. For all I know, you're riddled with disease or packing one of those delightful head wounds you seem to attract. I'm not crawling back into your head just to ooze right back out again. <laughs> what? You can gay romance your own brain? <laughs> what the fuck? Come on. You're my brain and I'm your body. This was meant to be, baby. Are you... Are you coming on to me? Sweet Lord, I don't even have the words for how repugnantly wrong that is. Please tell me we weren't that perverse when I was in your head. Ugh. Anyways, even if that was on the table, we have a problem. Even if I wanted to settle myself back in your skull and go to all the trouble of reconnecting nerve endings, Dr. Mobius doesn't have the tools here. We would have to make use of Dr. Klein's lab, and I rather doubt the brains are inclined to share. Then, let's go make them share. Come on, Brain, it's stomping time. Oh, lovely. We've reached the mindless violence portion of the program. Tell me, what exactly are you, and I use the word loosely, planning? Uh, the Brains have forgotten the little things. Things like sharp blades and heavy chunks of steel. Going the old-fashioned route, are we? I rather like it. What's next? If the think tanks won't hold up their bargain, we'll make them. Let's go. Right! Look out, think tank! This brain is coming out of its jar! I suppose now that we're reunited, you'll want to fill your torso up with those other meaty parts the think tank took from us. Personally, I think your upgrades are quite a bit better. But now that I'm with you, the Sinks Autodoc can plug them back in no problem. Right then, off we go. Clyde will be in for a nasty shock when he realizes the pacification field won't work on a mind and body reunited. Okay. What did that mean? What did he mean by... Reunited? I thought we need their tools to reunite. Does he just mean us being near each other? Is he gonna like float around with me in like a brain bot? 
and us being near each other counts as reunited so you can't pacify us or because the whole point is we need to get them to let us put him in my head right he's not in my head we didn't like we didn't like fade to black or anything so i assume he's not in my head right now because the had to do like a whole surgery i well this certainly happened Use the sink auto dock to retrieve your original spine, retrieve your original heart, confront Dr. Klein at the think tank and end your imprisonment at, B at Big MT. There's still more. I think I'm going to look up the All My Friends Have Off Switches quest just to try to checklist, go through the list and like notice which one I'm missing or something. I would like to try to figure out this stuff, like with Dala and everything. Hmm. Oop. Yeah, that might be it. It sounds like there's an actual sink. I might have missed that. So let's go look for the sink in the sink. Confusingly. Gotta get back outside. Other than that... I think we're pretty far in this expansion. I think we're about done, actually. Even though it... I don't know. I don't know how to express this exact idea. Like, I don't know if I'm just speaking... If I just sound c confusing, or if, it, or if people get what I mean, but like... With how long the introduction was, and how much exposition, and how much conversation there was to have with so many characters setting up this zone, and then you get dumped in a map that looks pretty big, I'm just kind of caught off guard by how quickly it feels like we're basically done. So I think we're pretty done-ish. Which is its own kind of confusing, just because I'm like, I... what? Like... <laughs> like, how is it... how is it almost over? It, it felt like we were setting up for, like, a big, huge extended area all over this huge area, and... Ultimately... Most, most of it didn't come to... to involve that much. I did double-check, though, and yes, the, uh... The, uh, the school was part of the main story. There were so many side tasks split between the characters that I definitely lost the thread of which quest was even the main one at some point. There's the sink. Oh, God, look at you. You're filthy. I suppose you want to clean up then? You seem kind of worried about dirt. What's wrong? Oh, it's just so unsanitary. Do you know how many germs are in one cubic centimeter of dirt? Seventy hundred gajillion. Would you want that getting washed down your gullet day in and day out? I didn't think so. I just came over here to fill some of these empty bottles. Oh, I'd love to, darling. But the circuits that allow me to dispense water into non-organic containers burned out years ago. You'd have to find a replacement for that module. I'd uh, just like a drink, thanks. You can have as much as you like. Just uh, please don't put your lips on the faucet. It's so unsanitary. I thought you just... Have you ever seen a biological research station this full of seed? No. No, you haven't. Just completely packed full of seed. Nope. It has, it has flowers now. There we go. So we did that. You've been working with that biological research station, haven't you? I suppose you'll want to... Ugh, clean up. Come back anytime you want to drink. Or to get... Mm, clean. Maybe I need to double check the dialogue she said? I thought she said that she couldn't fill my bottles. But then you, I can have a drink? Isn't that the same thing? What do you mean? I can clone all these devices. Alright. It is interesting that they set up like a whole base for you essentially over here. 
I do wonder how badly you'd want to come all the way back here to do stuff like that in a, in a weird set location in an expansion. Can you even still access this after this expansion, actually? Hmm. Seems like it'd be a bit out of the way if this is like your HQ. Find the upgrades to the Sink's Central Intelligence Unit. Guess we're still poking at it a little bit. I'm wondering if this goes anywhere. I want to say that at this point, getting the ch all the stuff for the sink base is like the majority of the of the ex of this expansion. <laughs> Ready, steady, go. Bam, do, 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 bam. He's dead. Fighting over. I thought this was the same tunnel from earlier for a second there. This one looks pretty tough. He he is not. I promise. Unable to continue. Please take cover until the danger has been eliminated. Good advice. The Custodian. He's like his own boss fight. Oh, I should loot him, actually, if he's named. Primer and Powder Pack? Salient Green. Oh no, Salient Green. That's probably people. Failure State. Failure state. I'm loaded with sugar. It's put a stop to me. Not getting through there. Would you like some drugs? The audio is kind of freaking out again. I think the sync glitches out the audio, and then it maybe stays glitched for the rest of the session. Okay, this is getting a little hard to navigate internally. Go this way, then right. Well, that's just this tunnel, which just ends over here. Well, I can't go down here and turn right because that door's locked. Wow, the audio's really freaking out now. Oh, I forgot to give him a mug. Ah, oh, poor guy. Poor baby! What do I do if I can't open this door? Is this quest just over? Main computer upgrade layer. Oh, oh, that is the object. Oh, that is. That's it. I don't have to go any deeper. Whoops. <laughs> Spent a couple minutes on that on accident. I wonder if there's like another hook that will point me here narratively? Or what? Either way, I gotta I gotta restart. It's driving me crazy. I don't know if it's super apparent in real time, but that <laughs> that audio glitch is very distracting. There we go. Hmm. 
You know, I might head there on foot. The, the teleport spot's technically closer, but that whole area is full of, like, ridges and stuff. Whoop. Oh, there's a floating thing up there. Is that on the crane? Is this supposed to be? Rocket 88. Um. Time to fight. Little Yang Shi. Okay. This place is full of worrying attack ghouls. Got him. That's a lot of graves, too. I think this might te be telling us a sad story about the exploited labor that this camp was using. Yang Shi suggesting that they had, like, a bunch of Chinese laborers in here. And left them to die. Because there's a huge number of people buried in, the, in those graves. And then you have just a handful roaming around that seem to be... Goal, ghouls that went feral in the time since. Oh, that guy had a weapon, so maybe they weren't even feral. They just, they just were hostile and attack on sight, which is tragic. Or I could be forgetting some kind of setup tied to them. But that's it for now, I think. Could be that one of the other brains hooks into that narratively, but I like failed the speech checks or whatever skill checks were required to be to surface that. Ready, steady. Ow! It'd be really hard to use those even when you know they're there. It's interesting that your limb health can be so low That's all. when your health is full. Those feel a tad bit contrary. So these give you a way of crossing the ravine without falling in, but I don't think that's my goal right now. But yeah, the way that I got... Uh, the way that I got quests from a couple of them, but not the rest of them, makes me think that you can potentially get more if you have the right type of character. Signal Hills Transmitter. Hair and styling enhancements for the auto dock. Barter skill book. That's a sarsaparilla. Can't go leaving those behind. They're important. And I'm probably overweight again. Gotta drink all these sarsaparillas. Okay.
Sync's central intelligence unit. Scrap electronics. Is it in this little side room? I am not so sure you can get in there. Tied to the tower itself, or is it indoors? Is it on the roof? That's all. It's definitely telling me to go back outside, so it shouldn't be in here. I think it's on the roof. See if I can get on top of the rocks. Hello, they have this whole camp up here. Uh -oh. Elijah's advanced layer. Torn journal page. Advanced layer. All right, well, we'll use this one to... We'll get, use the other one to repair that one, then. It's obviously better. Bonus damage versus robots and power armor. Torn journal page. Came up here after the yang -Shi attack. Too exposed here. Transmitter's vulnerable. Hacked it. Set up a remote link so I can access it any time. Need to find spot closer to North Train Tunnel with clear broadcast LOS to here. Canyons are too dangerous. Can't go back to Yangshi. There is that weather station northwest that drew that courier here, but going there sounds like trouble. For now, gonna scout the waste disposal site, then around the perimeter of that Securitron plant, see if I can find a more defensible position. We left the weapon behind. So is he likely doing any what any good? Somebody just get here. Yep. Ah! All these people that they've affected. Oop. All these people that they've effectively killed are definitely a reminder that, like, hey, maybe we should stop all of the robots from... all the, uh, brains from living. Do they deserve a second chance after wiping out this many people? I don't know about that, man. That might be a thing we should interrogate. Christine's COS recon armor? Medium armor? How do I know which one's better? Let's see, Combat Armor Reinforced Mark II. What I, what I struggle with is that your durability affects the stats of the gear, which makes it hard to compare gear to know which one's better. So I'm trying to see if I can find out. Combat Armor Reinforced Mark II has a damage threshold of 20 and, uh... Is, 
used only damage threshold? Christine's COS recon armor damage threshold of 19. Sneak plus 5. And like, arguably having sneak plus 5 gives you an advantage. That might be worth the damage threshold loss, but I do not sneak. I'm definitely inclined to just be like, yay, my stuff's finally repaired. Thanks, Christine. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. It's gotta be upstairs, right? Oh, there's a ladder. Staircase. There we go. I'm amazed how often I'll say ladder when I mean staircase. It just slips right out every time. Alright, thanks, Christine. This place really is its own whole thing. Sierra Madre. Test case? I heard one of the execs mention that whether Sinclair knew it or not, the Sierra Madre would be a test case for the auto dock and the innovative toxins research. Maybe they were joking, but even that kind of joke sends a chill down my spine. If I got poisoned by one of those toxins, no way would I crawl inside one of the Y-17 auto docks here if my life depended on it. The medical tech for one of those trauma suits alone makes me wish they'd erase they'd erase their research. The suits do more thinking than the people inside them. Trauma harness testing results. The Y-17 trauma harness has succeeded beyond the wildest expect expectations. The test harness were able to take over the motor functions of an injured subject and walk them back to home base. We'll have to see what develops once it's recorded enough neuro-auto-muscular movements to display a wider range of behaviors. To think. If they could be programmed to replicate a wearer's shooting or fighting reflexes, we'd have something truly amazing for the war effort. Trauma, action, trauma harness action items. Some issues still remain to be ironed out before the Y-17 trauma harness is ready for general production. Calibrating the proper amount of injury to trigger the suit remains... Problematic. Still, little Yangshi subjects could hardly protest once inside the harnesses. If a home base is not designated, the suit enters a unpredictable wanderer state. And as we discovered while calibrating injury levels, the suit sensors are able to recognize when the wearer is dead. Luckily, autonomous corpse retrieval is nearly as useful as autonomous ca casualty recovery. Ooh. They just become walking corpses. Look, the body's back. Here we go. They don't care much about the human cost. Everything here is horrifying. Hmm. I think the audio's freaking out again. It's frustrating. I wonder if this, like, server is trying to layer too- or server. This DLC is trying to layer too many audio layers on at once or something, or some other issues going on. Who knows? Maybe all the mods that collectively fixed other stuff broke something else. So that's gotta be some of the people we've encountered. Maybe even the Yangshi soldiers were not... Maybe those weren't ghouls? Weren't ghouls, but were instead just reanimated corpses? Just coming at me? Hmm. Yeah, this whole place kinda needs to be burned down.